Many LDS have solely learned about Joseph Smith's first vision from what they have read in the back of the Pearl of Great Price, in what we call Joseph Smith history. This is the best known account, and we have canonized it by the church. This was written in 1838. However, some members of the church don't know or have never read any of the other accounts written by Joseph himself about that glorious day when he was about 14 years old. Two of the accounts were written prior to 1838 and one after. The earliest account the prophet wrote was in 1832 and is also the most personal account, and it is in Joseph's own handwriting. The November 1835 version has Joseph Smith describing his early visionary experiences to a visitor who introduced himself as Joshua the Jewish minister at his home in Kirtland, Ohio. This description was written down and Warren Parrish later copied it into Joseph Smith's journal. We have already talked about the most well-known version in 1838, which is in our Pearl of Great Price. Then in 1842, there was another brief history of the church often referred to as the Wentworth Letter. This was prepared at the request of a Chicago newspaper editor. The extent of Joseph Smith's involvement in writing this is not known, but it was published with his signature. This account borrowed language from Orson Pratt's an interesting account of several remarkable visions. In addition to those four accounts, there are five additional second-hand accounts by Joseph Smith's contemporaries. You know what I always thought somebody should do is blend the four accounts Joseph Smith wrote together to get the most holistic picture of the first vision. Unfortunately, if somebody has done that, I've never seen it. So I decided to do it. I took each account and I color-coded them. The main 1838 version in our Pearl of Great Price I made black. The 1832 version I made in blue, the 1835 account in red, and the 1842 in green. I then took the elements of the story that didn't exist in another version and put them into the 1838 version. So you get black, blue, red, and green text blending these four accounts together into a single narrative with the most detail possible. Then if there was a unique bit of information from one of those five second-hand accounts, I would add it on the side in purple. The hope here is that this will make the best possible study guide for those interested in learning as much as they can from the prophet himself regarding the first vision. You can download a copy for free from the link in the video description below. I hope you enjoy learning more about the events that ushered in the dispensation of the fullness of times. And